Welcome back to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Convo, episode number 81. A conversation I want to get into today, will Rolly Romero awkwardness be a problem for Javante Tank Davis? I'm going to break it all down in this video, so stay tuned. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. Hey, Tank Davis ain't no joke. Hell, even Rolly ain't no joke. I, I kind of personally think Rolly might beat Tank. You don't have a, huh? Do you think you can win that fight with Tank? Tank gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Tank gonna fuck him up. You think bad. he stops him? You gonna annihilate him. Tank fights Rolly, who wins? You know, surprisingly, I think that would be actually a, a somewhat competitive fight, you know? Because I know Rolly's didn't look too good, but he always has that X factor. You know, there's something about his power and. You know, he has good timing sometimes. So, obviously, I think Tank's gonna beat him, but I think he has a shot to knock him out. I think that Roly, he's he's got some ways to go. Uh, he's got to improve. Yeah. You know, I think um, a lot of guys, a lot of times, they fall in love with their power. It's no secret that he's in love with his power, and that he's kind of is cocked, and he's and he's for it. And there's no problem with that, but you gotta add some other things to the repertoire. Yeah. You know, you're calling out Tank Davis. My my thing, with, especially with calling out Tank, is you have to be worried about the backfire. What's coming back at you? So you guys know how I break my videos down into two different rounds. So round one would be about the awkward fight style of Roland Romero. Uh, second round would be about my overall fight predictions between Roland Romero and Devontae Tank Davis. So let's get into round one. So, um, if you paid attention to the clips, uh, I do agree, agree with Sean Porter uh, heavily. I think Roller Romero is a decent fighter. Um, I don't think he's a great fighter. I think he's very, very awkward, man. Um, but a lot of times with, with awkwardness, it comes down to how well someone can adjust. Um, you know, it can make it very frustrating for somebody, man. If somebody is a really good fighter, sometimes you guys may not agree with this, but if you okay if i'm a boxer and i know that you can box too it's easy for me to break somebody down but if they awkward you don't face somebody with a fighting style like brother romero he's off balance he's you know almost like a street fighter uh so it, it can make it very difficult it depends on your your overall fighting style if you was to face brother romero uh as you can see in this clip i did put this uh spar match between um brian garcia and brother romero uh, which brian garcia said is going to be a very interesting fight uh, he believed it's going to be kind of competitive, but he said that, you know, he do give it to Javante Tank Davis. And I'm going to explain that more on, on my overall fight predictions in the, in the next round. But um, awkwardness is a, is a very funny thing. It could, it could work in your favor in some fights. And depend, like I said, it depends on who you fight. It could work in your favor. And sometimes it doesn't work in your favor. Sometimes you could be so flawed that the awkwardness, it does not help you. But sometimes when you... Um, like I said, when you when you're facing somebody and you're trying to break an opponent down, uh, whether you're inside the ring or watching video on a, on a fighter, uh, it's hard to get somebody to replicate uh, Roller Romero's uh, overall fighting style. So it could it could be very strange for somebody like Devontae Tank Davis or somebody else. Uh, you know, like I say, you go to my videos, you'll see this far match between um, Ryan Garcia and uh, Roller Romero. It, it was awkward for uh, Ryan Garcia. You know, you can get a couple shots in here and there when somebody tying you up and, and throwing punches from every angle that they probably don't even understand what they're throwing. Um, you know, not to say that <laughs> Roley don't know what he's doing, but uh, he he's, he can be very awkward. Uh, but you also heard uh, uh, Blair uh, Blair Cobbs in his fight prediction. I think he just going based off what, you know, I, I respect him as a fighter because it does take a lot of guts to get inside of a ring and go to war with somebody. So from a boxing standpoint, I, I, I respect him, but, you know, overall, I think he's a funny guy. I think he's good for boxing, man. I, I think that somebody's like that, like like him um, and Roly are really good for the sport of boxing because they make it entertaining no matter how bad of a fighter they are. And actually, Blair Cobb is a pretty decent fighter. <laughs> he, he really is. But, uh, but I think that, you know, I, I try not to be biased. I try to put, you know, different types of clips in here. So you, it's not just my favorite fighters or anything like that, but just... Uh, overall perspective on what uh, real fighters think of Roley, uh, what they really think about the, the fight that's coming up. Um, I think it's in, in May. Um, uh, so, I, I mean, I think it's going to be a decent fight. Um, like I say, Roley Romero, he could come out and shock the world. He can come out, with, uh, not to say I, I think he's going to win, but like I said, I get more than that in the, round, in, in, in the second round. But Roley Romero, he, he's got a good personality. I think he could 
continue to sell tickets. I think this fight will sell out. Um, I think the pay-per-view numbers will be pretty decent. Uh, but that's all based on his fighting style. I think, um, you know, just him running his mouth and stuff like that, he talked himself into a big pay-per-view fight. Probably one of his biggest paydays thus far in his career. Congratulations to him. But uh, like I say, his overall awkwardness, his, his, his fighting style uh, could, could, could be a problem for certain fighters. And, you know, I can't wait to see the fight. I know you guys can't wait to see the fight. But let's go ahead and jump into round two. So my overall fight prediction. Just, uh, sometimes I really like breaking down fights uh, just from what I see. I agree with Devin Haney. I think <laughs> I think Devin Haney he was he was spot on with what he said. I think that uh, I think Javante going he going it's going to probably take him a couple rounds to really figure out the awkwardness of uh, like we was talking about in the first round the awkwardness of uh, Brother Romero. I think like I said, anytime you come and you fight wild and crazy, and you're all over the place and your footing is not right, uh, it it throws you off. And as good as Javante Tank Davis is, could make it very awkward for him. Um, like I say. Go back and look at the Cruz fight. Even though uh, Isaac Cruz was not a awkward fighter per se, but he's a rough type of fighter. So it reminds me of Roller Romero. He's a rough type of fighter. Uh, if you can rough Javante up, if you can get close to him, um, you could do a couple. You could take away a lot of the things that uh, Javante does well, which is very hard, especially with the mind. I mean, with the skill set that Roller Romero uh, presents. But like I say, Javante just. He, He's a really good boxer. He has a lot of power. And I also agree with, with uh, Davis, I mean, what uh, Sean Porter was saying, too. Um, please go check out his podcast, the, the Porter's Way. Really good podcast as well. Um, but he was like, you know, he wrote a, got to wor worry about what uh, Javante Tank Davis is throwing back in him. And a smart fighter like Javante Tank Davis, man, could be very deadly. I'm telling you, it could be a very uh, long night for Roley, well, a very short night for Roley. And a, uh, a hurtful night. I think you can get really, really hurt by Javante knowing how to uh, put really good placement on his punches and everything like that. And also, I don't think that Roley has the ability to outsmart Javante Tank Davis. Tank Davis can set you up with uppercuts. This is one of his favorite shots. You see what he did to Leo Santa Cruz. And I think Leo Santa Cruz is a better overall skillful fighter than Roley Romero. Um, but I, I respect all the guys that I put in, like I say, when you, when you come to my videos, I will put um, certain clips from all other type of videos so you can get a bigger perspective. It may be only a 30-second clip or whatever, but you get a perspective on what the boxing world is thinking, not just so much on what I'm thinking. But uh, I think that, you know, overall, it's going to be a decent fight. I can see I'm going to – I think we're going to probably uh, get a knockout. But I think, the, I think maybe the first round to maybe the fifth round – I think it's going to be very hectic. I think it's going to be, uh, Javante is going to be a little bit hesitant uh, because you don't want to go in there and just throw crazy amounts of shots and try to get him out of there in two rounds, which Javante, if, you know, he could probably do it. But, uh, you know, like I say, the awkwardness is going to play a big key in Roley surviving as long as, however long he's going to survive. But overall, like I said, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a good entertaining fight. I think it's going to be something that you want to get some popcorn out for. I don't know if you're going to get through the whole bag. Uh, but I, I really think that you know, just like I say, I think it's it's, it's a it's a decent fight. Uh, I think Roley talked himself into a really big fight. Uh, but overall, I just think Javante is going to be very very smart. He's going to be uh, setting up punches. Roley would not see the type of traps that um, I don't think he's smart enough as a boxer to figure out what Javante is doing. I think uh, Javante will set him up, and I think he's going to be brutally knocked out. Uh, but like I say, anytime two guys get into the ring, anybody has a puncher's chance. We don't truly know until they actually get inside the ring. But I do pick Javante Tank Davis to win by knockout at least. I'm giving it to maybe the fifth round, sixth round, maybe even seventh. But uh, I think it's going to be an interesting fight. But Tank gets the win. That's going to conclude another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo, episode number 81. You guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below. If you want to see what I'm wearing, shop Follow me on all social media platforms that I'm currently on. Links will be down in the descriptions below. Just want to thank you guys. I can do each and every single video. Love giving you guys the best in boxing when it comes to content. Also, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe.
subscribe and also hit that notification bell. With all that out of the way, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo.